Welcome! Next, we're gonna take a look how to build a taxonomy with Pool Party. In the previous session, you got the theoretic basic knowledge to build taxonomies and thesauri. In this session, I guide you step by step through applying this knowledge in Pool Party. We will build a project for a small taxonomy about cocktails in which we learn to create concept schemes, top concepts and concepts. We will work with SCOS dashboard and create relations. I will also show you how you can reshape your taxonomy tree during your ongoing taxonomy development. This is the pool party login screen. I go ahead and I log in. To start a new taxonomy project, we go to the header menu project and click on create project. Here we can fill in some self-explanatory information for our project, whereas just the title is required. I am going to create a taxonomy about cocktails and use this uh, taxonomy throughout our next sessions to come. We can also add some other information, such as the subject. Maybe a description. And maybe the publisher. And we click Next. Here I can choose which language my taxonomy project will contain. It is a big asset that you can manage multilingual thesauri in only one project. And you see a long list of languages you can choose from. I choose English as my default language and I also add German. The default language is used in the interface to display your taxonomy data. Uh, so you always need at least one. And I click Next. Here I am asked for the user group uh, for my project. There will be a dedicated session on user management which is related to this topic. I simply choose Project Group for now. In the Advanced tab I can add additional settings or information to my project but this is not required for the moment and I can just click on create project and voila we have our first project in pool party and here we are the orange note called all about cocktails first project is what we call the project level at the metadata and statistics dashboard you get an overview of your project at the same time you can view and edit the information you already put in with a right click on the project node, you see the Create Concept Scheme option. The immediate nodes created under a project are always the concept schemes. And they are color coded in purple. So let's go take a look. Let's create our first concept schemes, color code purple. I create my concept scheme cocktails. I also create ingredients and I also create glassware. As before, I right click on a concept scheme and I see the option create top concept. These are the immediate nodes under a concept scheme and they are color coded in dark green. So let's take a look. I create in my structure the top concept of wine cocktails and I also create sour cocktails just to be able to add the concept of Caipirinha. And the concept of Bellini. 
And this is how your taxonomy structure can grow. In the meanwhile, I have extended the taxonomy tree. When we go on the project level, we have the metadata and statistics step. Under statistics, you have a very nice overview of, for example, how many concepts you have in your taxonomy. It is a very nice way to keep track when your taxonomy is being developed. Let's focus now on the tree view on the left side. Please be aware that you can take subtrees and use them somewhere else within the taxonomy. Let's assume you realize that highballs is also part of IBA official cocktails. You just take the parent node of the subtree and drag and drop it to the narrower concepts of the new parent, like this. At first, it might look like you are copying the subtree from one location to another, but actually what happens in the background is that an additional relation is created between the parent concept of your subtree and the new target concept. No data is copied. We just enrich our model by creating additional relations. So, if you realize you were wrong and you want to delete highballs under IBA official cocktails, you do it in the SCOS view of the highballs concept by simply deleting the extra created relation. If you delete it directly in the tree using the delete concept feature, the concept and its entire subtree itself will be removed completely from the thesaurus, so from both places in this case. We delete the relation under broader concepts, like this. You can use the same concept multiple times between one taxonomy, because you actually only create relations while the concept stays the same. There should be only one unique abstract concept representing highballs in your thesaurus. We have seen how the relations of broader and narrower concepts can be used. Let's use the related concepts relation. This goes beyond the hierarchical taxonomy tree structure we see on the left side. Lime, which is down here, is an ingredient of Caipirinha so I simply drag and drop it into related concepts. This is how you can relate to concepts. When I switch to Lime, I see that Caipirinha is also under related concepts now. Of course, one can also create more meaningful relations in Pool Party. In the custom schemes, I could create a consists of specific relation between a cocktail class and an ingredient class. This topic will be explained in a dedicated learning object. The initial SCOS view you see is a basic view with these properties. In the header menu you can activate the advanced SCOS view. Which has these properties. Additionally, you see these matching concepts relations now. They are used for linking any graph to another, or for linking vocabularies, or for enriching your thesaurus with other resources. These topics have their own dedicated learning object. Now, let's get into more detail about the different cost properties available for us. The examples shown here are just one of the way you can use the SCOS properties in your taxonomy. Preferred label contain only one label for each language which is also used to display the concept in the left tree view. Alternative labels contain synonyms and you can have more labels in the same language. There is also a property where misspellings or old word forms can be kept for your concept. This is hidden labels. A use case for hidden labels is in a search application where you don't want users to actually see a suggestion's misspellings. 
However, we all use search input fields with misspellings and still we get the right results. Notation and scope notes could be useful for adding even more detail to your concept. Perhaps the cocktails have a number code on your menu and you want to include this in the model. You have freedom how to use these properties. Just take care to use this consistently within a project. More recommendations you find in the SCOS Primer document. Additionally, I want to add some tips and tricks which make your work in Pool Party even easier. The first one is about how to move a subtree by holding the Shift key while drag and drop. If you decide to move a concept completely and have for instance Skypirinha only part of contemporary classics, then you hold the Shift key when you drag and drop, like this. This action makes you move the concept instead of just so-called copying it. What happens in this case is that a new relation is created and the old relation is deleted at the same time. Now we see Caipirinha under Contemporary Classics and Caipirinha is not part of Sour Cocktails anymore. The next trick is about how to switch between preferred label and alternative label. It is easy to switch between your labels. You can decide easily which one should be the preferred label, simply by clicking this button. Or we can put it back. The next tip is about how to create a concept scheme, top concept or concept simply by double clicking its parent. Let's add some more fruits to our taxonomy. I double click the concept fruit and I add apple, pear and banana. The next tip is about how to create concepts one after the other by using the checkbox create another. Let's create three more fruit concepts in our taxonomy. In the new concept window I check the create another box. And I go and create sugar melon, honey melon, and yellow melon. So now I have all the three new concepts. The last tip is about how to merge concepts by drag and drop into an alternative or hidden label field. Let's take the previously created concepts of yellow melon, sugar melon and honey melon. I would like to merge them under one concept which has the honey melon preferred label. Meanwhile, I also added two alternative synonyms into sugar melon and a hidden label into yellow melon. I would drag and drop sugar melon into alternative labels field, which causes that all its previous labels are now copied into alternative labels. If I do the same with the yellow melon concept and I add it to alternative labels, I will get its preferred initial preferred label yellow melon as an alternative label whereas the hidden label will be copied in the same place. By now you got the feeling that creating a taxonomy involves some effort. Creating concepts, relating them, adding additional information. What is really very much appreciated by experienced taxonomists is the semi-automatic approach of pool party. While doing changes manually is important to semantic precision, you can also benefit from semi-automatic features that help with taxonomy development. Import-export, link data harvesting and corpus management. 
Import Export can deal with Excel files or with RDF data. With Link Data Harvesting, you can import content to your taxonomy from web sources such as Wikipedia and harvest taxonomy structures. With Corpus Management, you can analyze text corpora and get suggestions for new concepts directly from your relevant content. For all these functionalities, there are dedicated learning objects. This is just to give you a short outlook. Congratulations! With the knowledge you have, you can start building your own thesaurus in just a few minutes. You are now familiar with the Pool Party user interface and main Pool Party actions. We created our own first project which contains concept schemes, top concepts and concepts. We reshaped the taxonomy with simple drag and drop. You are now also familiar with the SCOS vocabulary and we saw that there is a basic and advanced SCOS view where you can manage additional information. And we briefly mentioned some functionalities which can help with semi-automatic taxonomy development. So stay tuned!